The Britain's High Court has finished a two-day high-profile hearing. The court heard arguments over whether to grant WikiLeaks founder Julian Assange a fresh appeal against his extradition to the United States. If extradited, then Julian Assange could face charges of espionage. Two senior judges heard evidence from his lawyers and those representing Washington, and they've now opted against making an immediate decision. It was seen as Assange's final bid to block extradition within the United Kingdom. We'll reserve our decision, is what Judge Victoria Sharp said as the latest legal proceedings concluded in the long-running case. Now, this comes after the prosecution alleged that Julian Assange had solicited the secret U.S. files. They went on to accuse the WikiLeaks founder of publishing them indiscriminately, without redactions, and contested that Assange's actions were quote-unquote unprecedented and did not constitute journalism or free speech. On the other hand, Assange's lawyers have hit out at the prosecution for failing to address that he was actually exposing the crimes that were being committed by the U.S.-led forces in Iraq. Now, according to his lawyer, Julian Assange was in fact absent from the court for the two-day session. He also did not follow the proceedings via a video link due to illness. Meanwhile, dozens of his supporters also marched outside on both days demanding that the judges should halt the extradition of Julian Assange because he only went on to expose the nature of the American invasion of Iraq and Afghanistan. But Julian Assange's wife, Stella Assange, has also expressed that the United States prosecution of his husband is actually an attack on truth. There's a realization about what this is really about, which is an attack on the truth, an attack on the public's right to know, and uh, a country's attempt to further their impunity and their cover-ups and continue uh, to kill uh, with impunity without the threat of a media that will scrutinize them, of a public that will demand change. That cannot stand. Everything turns on the outcome of this case. If the High Court rules against Assange, then he could virtually exhaust his UK's legal options. Now, Assange was in fact holed up in Ecuador's London embassy for seven years from 2011. He had fled there to avoid extradition to Sweden, where he faced, where he faced accusations of sexual assault that were later dropped. He was arrested by the British police in 2019. Now, Washington indicted Assange multiple times between 2018 and 2020, and the blowback came after WikiLeaks published hundreds of thousands of secret military and diplomatic files on the U.S.-led wars in Iraq and Afghanistan. Assange has since waged a half-a-decade battle against being sent to the United States, however, to not much avail. He's lost successive rulings in recent years. If he fails again, then he could be extradited within a matter of weeks for having exposed the nature of the American invasion of Iraq and Afghanistan and also the crimes that were being committed on many occasions on the civilians there. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.